it's just so just so eye-opening to see this type of matchup this early in the bracket. All right, so Louis Money is going for Palu, and Dragon is going for Pyro and Mithra. And I actually play. <laughs> I play both these games, so for me personally, so I think a lot of what this matchup comes into is how much Louis Money is going to be able to punish Tyra and Mithra's recovery run. Because everyone knows Tyra and Mithra recovery, not the greatest. If you can punish that, like it's going to be really hard for them. Yeah, it's a pretty glaring weakness of the character. Louis Money not going to be in too much trouble for missing that tech there at such a low percent. Doing a very good job in the neutral thus far. Yeah, and both of them for their neutral for the speed. Part of Palutena definitely going to be looking for Nair as she does, you know, going for it. Nair loops, super strong option, very strong, very active tool, and very strong as well. Gets the back air off stage one more time. Gets the explosive flame one more time up high in the air. Gets the Nair to fall down with for Dragnail. Only pairs that first hit the multi hit though. Dragnail in the control now. Hurry switch to Pyra. Yeah, I think he's trying to get, trying to drag as much damage as he can out of this stop. And so we know Pyra's, Pyra's a hard hitter at the two. Flaming Edge is not going to get it. He just, Louis Money just feels it. He goes to Flame. Pyra's extra weight not going to be enough to help us uh, keep that stock, though. Yeah, 98 weight units not quite enough to survive that. Gets the platform cancel as well, but unable to escape these up airs. Yeah, so, and, and I already talked about what Palu wants, all right? Let's talk about, let's go to the flip side. What Pyra and Mithra want, right? People always know the general plan. Mithra and then Pyra for the kill, right? But for, for Mithra, she's going to be wanting for the snares, the back air loops, and all the all the damage like that. Pyra, she doesn't want any move. Oh, nice! Nice usage of the flaming edge. It's going to flame Nova, I mean. It's going to use it uh, to cover the spot dodge, and the forward smash already going to do it. Take the stop. Yeah, Mithra's edge smash not quite as long as Pyra's, but very, very fast. Yeah, very fast, and definitely enough to seal the stop. They say Pyra Mithra can't kill, but she's still got plenty of kill power with the uh, Lightning Edge and uh, the Forge Edge. Lands around the upper, but Blue Money still has enough time to follow up with the dash attack and outranges that Nair too. Dragneel, he falls out of his own Nair. Yeah, both of, both of their Nairs are kind of um, weird to say because they use they look the same, but they have very extremely different uses, right? Palutena's is a combo tool, and uh, Mithra's is more of like, it, it is also a combo tool, but it doesn't combo into itself. And so afterwards you get like a tech chase into other things like that. And, that's, and you just push the advantage state with your speed and overwhelm your opponent that way. Right. I know every Nair with multiple spins in this game is often compared to Palutena, but the launch angle is very, very different. Oh, yeah. Very, 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 very. Try to cover it with a down tilt. It's going to get him off stage. But the flaming edge, he did it. Oh, he misinputted that. He definitely wanted the up B there. Louis Money, though, not the type of person to show him any mercy after that misinput. And so something I like Louis, what Louis Money has been doing is that when he has the option, he's been uh, using Explosive Flame on the ledge to try and get Dragon to say, uh, to try and push Dragon off the edge. It's like, hey, this is my edge, get off of it. Or at least respect it, right? And so I thought to help him cover that option so that way he can't go off and dare him or just cover the ledge. It's just been really good. And that has to be a bit of a confidence booster for Dragnail, knowing that Blue Money didn't get any extra credit there. Already attempting this juggle, a lot of hits, and 44% as his reward. Yeah, but again, Mithra combo is super strong, super fast, and that's what, that's what Dragnail was looking for. Forward smash off the ledge. One more hit from Pyro is going to get it. Doesn't get the dare for the uh, four frame, actually. This is the TP. This is after the back air. Oh, he read that. He read that air dodge here, but no punish. Yeah, yeah. Dragneel's been reading Louis Money's options on like rolling or spot dodging and things, and things like that, but he hasn't been getting rewarded for it, unfortunately, because of Pyra's uh, low mobility. But this is enough. There's no jump for him. He switched to Myth or trying to get the side B, but wasn't high enough, unfortunately. Like, Louis Money the first game. Yeah, and what a shame for Dragneel as well. I hate to think what could have been if that second S if that second stock SD wasn't there, but. Louis Money, you know, if you're a top player, you capitalize on mistakes like that. Yeah, especially, especially in this tournament, yo, you take those. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, like, I, I'm in Grand Finals, my opponent SD, yo, I'm taking that all day. Yeah. I'm, I'm fist pumping to myself, there's no mercy that's going on. You have to think, what's the best way to take this next stock starting at zero? All right, but back to PS2. I personally think it's fine. Like, both these characters really excel at, on PS2. Palutena really strong in the neutral, of course, with her, with her neutral air. And she has strong platform cancels with the TP. Stuff like that is just really strong for her. Supposed to play off the ledge, stuff like that. But the Foresight is going to get a little bit of more damage for him. 
air from Dragneel, but unable to follow up with the back air. This time does, waits for him to land. And something that I've been noticing Dragneel do a little bit more is actually contesting a lot more with his own there. And especially for doing it in really strong areas. And especially makes it so that way Louis Money has a lot of, like, makes it hard for Louis Money to really do anything about it. Oh, the bolts on air. Yeah. Hatch isn't dropping shield at the wrong time. Yeah, that's a really bad move to get uh, caught uh, at the beginning too with your shield down. Because it does like 24% just raw. Mm -hmm. Especially since Palutena has decent ground speed and a long range F smash, Blue Money doesn't even have to cover that much ground if he catches it in shield. Yeah, the only risk that comes with that forward smash though is that it has a lot of head lag. So if you, if you throw it out, you better hope it's at least hitting the field. True, but it is a true punish to that uh, Photon Edge as he goes in. There. I really love that option too because he knows Mithra is like super linear on that recovery. And she has a set distance I, and she's going right here. It's just a free dare. Especially she's not already on the ledge. She had to, she was already kind of like a little bit away, but she had to like uh, have a little bit of time to snap there. The edge pops out of the dare, but the back air, good DI, is going to save Lee money there. TP's back on stage. I like that mix up there. He's been going to ledge every single time, but mixes it up there, up these early, and goes back on the stage. Very nice landing there with that up air, and then going for the uphill directly after from Dragon. Oh, there Luke. He's at 90, though. So he's just going to get the one straight hit. There comes out with the fair. Tries to get the dare to follow up. Oh, I love this conversion. That was so good for Dragneo, but has to get pushed away from the fair. Yeah, Mithra obviously thrives in the early percent, and this is a character that complements Dragneo's playstyle so well. Oh, the close of flame covered the, side, the Photon Edge. That was so smart coming out from Louis Money. A lot of people kind of use it like a close of flame, kind of just like a, oh, I just control a space kind of area. And that's exactly what he used it there. It was like, this horizontal recovery, you're either dead or you take the, the explosive play. Like you playing trading with the Flaming Edge. I think that's a trade that Louis Money would be happy to take oh, any day. Oh, 100%. You take a stock for that? Oh, yeah. You're going to take that all the time. But there, Luke coming out with the other follow-up 44. Has the air done. Get the Flaming Edge in the air. He's going to trade back. And Dragno needs an early. He needs one of those pirate stocks, man. He needs them right now. Yeah. And he's fishing for it. I mean, I don't blame him for going for that Hail Mary there, being this far down, but... Blue Money has just adapted so well. Yep, and there on stage. Oh, he tries to get it with the up B. And he jumps up from the ledge, and the dare's gonna cover it. Super smart option. I can't believe he went for that dare. That was, that was an incredible option for him. Yeah, it's incredibly brave to go for that, but it's incredibly well done to execute. Blue Money, an amazing reversal, and a 2-0 over a very, very 